Con Edison manages more than 80,000 manholes and service boxes in Queens, all of which need to be cleaned so utility workers can have the access they need to keep the city running. Cleaning out manholes is a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. We're Brooklyn Queens Environmental Operations, also known as uh, the Flush. We're vital to all the departments in pretty much Con Ed because without us to maintain the electrical distribution system, it would be pretty much impossible because there's a lot of times like you, you came across water or sludge or any other kind of debris that's in the hole and these guys can't, you know, they don't have a clear access to do what they have to do. It gets real dirty. Um, as you can see now, this is the start of the shift. So my guys, uh, they got their, you know, we, we, we basically uh, supply the guys with uh, at least eight pair of pants, shirts. Usually throughout a day, uh, by the end of the day, those things are going in the hamper and uh, they start the new day off with fresh clothes. You're dealing with all kinds of debris, solid, liquid, oil, roaches, uh, water bugs. No alligators. No alligators, rats. So it gets pretty, it gets pretty uh, hairy down there sometimes. Luckily, the crew has a truck with a supersized vacuum to help them do the job. So what they're going to do now is basically get the, they're going to get the eight-inch tube, which is the extension to the tube that we have on the front of the truck, and they're going to hook it up, put it in the manhole, and then they're going to suck out the water, and then they'll be able to see really what's in there. That's the fun part. Once you suck out the water, you don't know what really stands ahead of you. But the job isn't just dirty. There's plenty of hazards. Uh, that's why they, these guys are trained. All right, everyone who goes down in these holes are trained to go down in a confined space. Um, basically, they know what to look for. We have defaults, which basically is anything that has to do with primaries, which is the primary feeder that carries most of the voltage. Uh, they know what to look for in secondary exposed cable. The way you come in is the way you want to go home. So people are fully aware of what to look for. From time to time, even the most seasoned veterans are surprised at what turns up. When I was in Brooklyn, we opened up a manhole. And I guess it was a relatively new manhole because it was the casting was all new. It was a cement wall. But uh, we found uh, a refrigerator, half a refrigerator down there, a bike. Uh, along with uh, a wall full of cockroaches and water bugs and rats. Um, so it, it, it gets, like I said, it gets a little, uh, a little bizarre sometimes. Very dirty. <laughs> yeah, it, was good. it wasn't that bad. I mean, we have worse holes than that, but it was dirty. Some of the jobs are basically up to your knees. You got a shovel. This wasn't really that bad. This wasn't that bad of a hole. So you could just imagine if this hole wasn't that bad, what other holes could actually look like. And they came across no bugs, which is always a plus. Yeah. Uh, you know, he, they just dealt with a couple of stanchion arms, old wire, a manhole hook that seemed to be left down there for a while, <laughs> and uh, just just dirt, you know.